Allen welcomes Conan O'Brien, NBC Tonight. How did you find us? I ran. Where's your mom? Home. Does your mom ever leave the house? No. He doesn't love her. Who's he? The monster. Chicago PD, new next Wednesday on NBC and Peacock. Monday, guest mentors Megan Trainer and Anthony Ramos level up the artists. You're born to do this. Your tone is rich. It's like a cashmere sweater of luxury. <laughs> the Voice, new Monday on NBC and Peacock. Live from Rhinelander, this is News Watch 12 at 10. The Northwoods Best News with Jessica Jukic, Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller, and Saul Meyer with Sports. News from where you live starts now. Good evening, I'm Jessica Jukic. We now know the identity of the suspect who was arrested in connection to a deadly shooting in Park Falls nearly two weeks ago. 50-year-old Christopher Dyer was arrested on April 13th and is likely to be charged with first-degree homicide. The charge comes after police responded to a call around 4 p.m. on 2nd Avenue North in the city. There they found a victim dead with multiple gunshot wounds and a handgun on the scene. Dyer was arrested shortly after. The Department of Justice Division of Criminal Investigation is reviewing the evidence. When the investigation is complete, they will turn over their reports to the Price County District Attorney. A Leona woman accused of killing her husband last October appeared in Forest County Court today for a status conference. Mary Terry is accused of killing her husband in October 2023. During today's appearance, Terry appeared over Zoom, and it was determined that all further appearances must be in person. In January, a judge ruled there was enough evidence for a trial to be held. Terry was charged with first-degree intentional homicide and homicide by intoxicated use of a motor vehicle for the death of Donald Britton Jr. On February 22nd, Terry appeared for an arraignment where she pled not guilty. The judge decided that Terry must wear a tracking bracelet and is able to leave Forest County to live with her daughter in Appleton but cannot drive. Terry's next court appearance is scheduled for Monday, August 5th at 1.30 p.m. Jeff, we had some sun peeking out today. What a day. High temperatures back up near 50, widespread sunshine all day. Tomorrow we're going for 60, and a couple of us could go for 70 this weekend. After a cold start to our day today, check out these morning lows. We are back in the teens across parts of Price County. So if you're an overachiever and have a garden going, be careful again tonight. We'll have low temperatures pretty much in the 20s across the area tonight. Right now we're at 32 in Tomahawk, 44 though for Stevens Point. Still 38 for Arborvita. It's comfortable out there but again the average low is 32 we'll all be below that tonight and into tomorrow morning all right lots of clear skies across the state today gave us lots of sunshine earlier followed by some high clouds out there now not a big deal at all the bigger deal though is over here to the west of us this is our mess in the west that's going to bring us some healthy rain friday evening through saturday and sunday and monday a wet weekend is on the way our forecast though for tonight though is mostly clear skies and partly cloudy skies with low temperatures down near 23. Your full forecast is coming up, Jessica. It's been more than two months since three-year-old Elijah Vu vanished out of Two Rivers, Wisconsin. Now Vu's grandmother is speaking out. Jody Bauer's grandson is missing and her daughter Katrina Bauer is in jail. Jody says seeing her daughter as a mother was a bright light for Bauer and a contrast to the dark. She says Bauer struggled with the cycle of drug addiction going back 20 years. Watching your kid fall is the hardest thing in the world. It's... You always want what's best, but you can't get it. It's their life, so that's hard. Bowers said addiction complicated their relationship. She said Katrina's life was deeply affected by the abusive father of her child, Jimmy Vu, who's in prison. Bauer thought Katrina was getting help. She said the last time she spoke to Katrina was March 1st after she was arrested and charged with chronic child neglect. A suspect accused of shooting a man and driving away from the scene was in court today for his preliminary hearing. 36-year-old Zach Teske entered a not guilty plea in court this morning. Teske is accused of shooting a man in the leg during a dispute on Wassa's east side earlier this month. The victim suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Teske fled the scene and began driving north on Highway 47 into the Rhinelander area. 
He's charged with first degree reckless injury, taking and driving a vehicle without consent, and eight counts of felony bail jumping. He will be in court on May 20th. The former Wisconsin College Chancellor who was fired over pornographic films he made with his wife is fighting to keep his faculty position. Today, the former Chancellor Joe Gao says interim Chancellor Betsy Morgan filed three charges against him. The University of Wisconsin La Crosse is accusing Gao of unethical conduct, failing to cooperate with an investigation and using UW La Crosse computers to produce pornographic materials. Gao says the ethics charge may be in connection to his writing in two pornographic ebooks. Gao has requested a hearing before a faculty committee. The committee would recommend to the Board of Regents whether he can keep his job as a tenured communications professor. Northland College in Ashland has again delayed a decision on the future of the university. The school's Board of Trustees met late Tuesday and announced that while they received several transformative donations, they still will not commit to either closure or remaining in operation. College leadership has held several meetings with staff where they developed a plan, including reducing students and faculty across the campus and renting out office space. The school is still short of $12 million that the college was hoping to raise in the beginning of April, but the board does say that they're hopeful for the future. Art is a great way for people to express their feelings. Art Star in Rhinelander is bringing something new to the community to help people do just that. Hodag Park Beach House in Rhinelander will be the home of a new interactive art sculpture. It's designed to bring people together and help members of the community reflect on social isolation. The sculptural piece that will be placed at the Hooding Park Beach House is called Together. The Together bench that will be constructed on beginning on May 10th. But unlike your typical bench, it will be covered in reflective mosaic tiling. Ashley McLaughlin is the Program and Operations Director at Art Start. She says the bench is interactive so people will be able to hear stories focusing on mental health. You're going to sit on this bench. Uh, lean back in it and rest your head on the back of the bench and it is going to um, vibrate your skull using bone induction technology so that you hear the voices of community members talking about social isolation. She says the project has been a collaboration among several local organizations, including area health partners to connect on mental health issues that are common in the community. There will be an unveiling event for the sculpture held on July 27th. Airlines are changing the way they refund tickets. Coming up after the break, we'll tell you what's changing after Weather with Jeff right here on Newswatch 12. Spirit, you roam on paths called impossible. Own a legend, Toyota Trucks. Get 3.99% APR for 60 months plus $2,500 cash back on Tundra Hybrid Capstone. Toyota, let's go places. Quality Homes of Tomahawk now sells modular homes built by Wisconsin Homes. Wisconsin Homes has maintained a tradition of building some of the finest homes on the market. Quality Homes also has a large selection of new manufactured and mobile homes. New homes are available for immediate delivery and set up anywhere in Wisconsin. Whether buying your first home or a cabin getaway, Quality Homes has the experience and expertise to make your dreams reality. Visit them today at qualitymh.com. Dinosaur Adventure roars into Wausau. One weekend only. Marathon Park. With life-size dinosaurs and massive family fun. Experience the thrill of the prehistoric age. Featuring the ferocious T-Rex, Triceratops, Velociraptor, and more. Go on a realistic fossil dig. Take a ride on your favorite dinosaur. Bounce around in the prehistoric playground. And a baby dinosaur meet and greet. Take an amazing dinosaur adventure. This weekend only. Marathon Park. Tickets at DinosaurAdventure.com. Hey there, I'm Lance Bass, and this is Chip. And for more than 100 years, American Humane has been protecting animals in times of crisis. And if you're like me, your pet means the world to you, and you want to keep them safe if disaster strikes. American Humane's first responders are always prepared to rescue animals in danger, but you can also help. To learn more about disaster planning and keeping your animals safe, please visit AmericanHumane.org. Dear Sharp Curves, 
Toyota has more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand. We got traction, baby. Get 2.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Toyota Camry. Toyota. Let's go places. The Furniture Den in Antigo for the best prices and selection. All right, here we go. High temperatures near 50 across the area today. Call them back now into the 30s across much of the region. Tomorrow, though, we're going to go for 60 in many locations, and we may not even stop there over the weekend. All right, so lots of heat across the plains right now. 70s and 80s there. That's the heat kind of moving our direction. Uh, we may hit 70 on Saturday. Um, many of us may get stuck, though, in the 60s across the area as well. 61 tomorrow, 57 for Friday, 68 for Saturday, 54 for Sunday. So kind of up and down, up and down a very spring-like temperature forecast into middle portions of next week. If you are sniffling and sneezing, kind of like me and my floor director here, uh, the tree pollen is off the charts right now in the high category. This could be a reason why. Watch the grass pollen go whoop this week as well, most likely this week or later on next week too, as we have lots of grass pollen about to bloom. All right, so across the area now, the wind has gone calm across the area. The air is settling once again. A very nice, unwindy day today, right? Winds near five miles per hour. It's going to begin to pick up though tomorrow. We could see wind gusts near 30 miles per hour tomorrow evening and especially throughout the day on Friday. We could see wind gusts near 40 miles per hour Friday evening ahead of our next weather system. That's going to bring us showers and thunderstorms over the weekend. So here we go. Our next event gets in here later Friday into Saturday and Sunday and Monday. A very slow moving system. So once it starts raining on Friday evening it's likely going to rain off and on through Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Bad time Timing, I know, being the weekend. Out there now, lots of clear skies across the air, but there are some clouds to the west of us. No big deal at all. The bigger deal is over here, way to the west of us. That is our next weather system right there. And that is eyes to bring rain and showers in here, likely about 9, 10 o'clock, probably Friday evening. And then, of course, lingering through the weekend into Monday of next week. And it could be a pretty soaking rainfall on the way. Tonight, no issues at all. Tomorrow, bring your sunglasses again. A very nice day. Friday as well, followed by increasing clouds Friday afternoon, and there are those rain showers in the area uh, from dinner time on across the area on Friday evening. And the rainfall, a good, healthy, soaking rainfall is on the way. Of course, we need every drop of this. Uh, it's going to be a long duration event, though, so between Friday night and Monday morning, maybe an inch or two of rainfall across much of north central Wisconsin. Our forecast, though, for tonight, though, is clear skies out there and cold. The average low temperature is 32. We're going to go for 23 and with the south breeze around 5. For tomorrow, it's Thursday already. Mostly sunny tomorrow. It's going to feel really good. A light wind early, followed by increasing winds throughout the afternoon. And high temperatures back up near 61. And then looking ahead, your seven-day forecast with the furniture and mattress shows tomorrow 61. Friday, rain showers in there. Most likely not an all-day rain, so likely after probably dinner time or so. And then off and on rain showers Saturday into Sunday into Monday. Locally heavy rainfall possible in here as well. And then hanging out mostly in the 60s through much of next week. Jessica. Thank you, Jeff. New federal rules say air travelers deserve cash refunds, not just vouchers or travel credits when flights are delayed or canceled. Passengers will receive automatic cash refunds if a domestic flight is delayed by more than three hours. The same applies to international flights that are more than six hours behind schedule. Airlines are also required to provide information up front about fees for baggage and changing flights. The rules were announced by the Transportation Department today. The new rules would also require a refund of any baggage fees for bags that arrive more than 12 hours late. The Federal Trade Commission is sending refunds to 117,000 Ring users. It comes from a settlement with Ring over charges the company allowed employees and contractors to access cameras. That gave them the ability to view con consumers' private videos without consent. The company was also accused of failing to implement security protections to keep hackers out of customer accounts. So far, the FTC has identified more than $5.6 million worth of refunds. The agency is sending those through PayPal. Consumers who think they're entitled to a refund can request one on the FTC's website. The Mosinese softball team is unbeaten so far this season. Coming up, we'll visit the team as they look to keep their unbeaten season going. Cheese 
97.9 is Big Variety. With Trav in the morning. And the tunes to get you through the workday. Big Cheese 107.9. Spring has sprung at Traders. Add color to your summer wardrobe. Show off your pretty toes in new sandals. Find something sweet for your littles. Change up your home decor. And grab something great for your garden at Traders. Family owned and operated. If there's one thing we like, it's choices. Find yours with Ford F-150. Gas, hybrid, or all electric. Whether it's towing, powering up, or getting from 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds, what you choose to do with that much power is up to you. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Choose Flex Buy on F-150 and get 1.9% APR financing for 66 months, plus 2,000 Flex Buy cash and 1,000 open bonus cash. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you outdoors because we get you. Whether you're ready to build your dream yard or get out on the water, we get you the right products at the right prices. Right now, rewards members get a free $15 gift card for every $100 spent on Scott's products. Like Scott's Turf Builder Weed and Feed, $64.99 after sale and mail-in rebate. Or Scott's Naturescapes Mulch, three for ten bucks. Save even more with mail-in rebate. We get you outdoors because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Beautiful home east of Eagle River with 5.5 acres to be sold at auction April 27th. Contact Brass and St. Louis Auctions for more details. Weather Watch 12 with Jeff Weller. Weeknights at 5, 6, and 10. Listen to Hot 96.7. I'm so obsessed with you. Hit music now. Beautiful things that I've got. Wake up with Corey with the K and the More Music Morning Show. With your love and your me. Hot 96.7. Coming up on News Watch 12 today, find out which business is having their grand summer opening. Sounds very exciting. We have sunshine coming up for your Thursday. And then some precipitation moves in. Morning, tune in on your Thursday from 5 to 7 a.m. The Mosley softball team is off to an impressive start to the 2024 season. After going down to Florida over their spring break and winning their first four games of the season, the Indians have returned home and won eight more. Now standing at a perfect 12-0, Mosley has established themselves as a major threat for the Division II state championship. We stopped by their practice to see how Mosley is looking to keep their season rolling. Yeah! While the 12-0 start has been fun for Mosley, the group knows there's still plenty of work to do. With talent across the roster, this team is poised for a big spring. Shortstop Taylor Jershley is one of the leaders of this group and has helped power Mosin to their perfect start. I think we have a pretty special group. I think we all work really hard and we play really well together. So that plays a big role in how many games we've been winning lately. But I think we're also very disciplined too. Like we know we're not we're not done with our job yet, and it's we still have more work to do. While unbeaten, the group is certainly not satisfied with themselves. The work ethic and energy shown on the practice field shows that this group of teammates knows they can improve day by day. Every team always has room to improve. We're striving every day to be better. Um, we come into practice with a new mentality to work hard and just try and get 1% better every day. Head coach Cody Britsky is in his first year coaching this talented squad. While he is pleased with the undefeated record, an unbeaten playoff run would be much more satisfying than a perfect regular season, and he has his group keeping things one game at a time. That at the beginning of the year they wanted to go undefeated, and right now we're undefeated, but I always tell the girls that every time we go into a game, we're oh no. It, the only thing that matters is none of the games in the past, none of the games in the future, but the game that is right in front of us. And you're right, we're 12-0, we're and 0, but for us it's just numbers. Mosin is currently ranked third in the state of Division II teams and is poised for a special spring. With plenty of talent in a tight group, expectations and results have been sky high so far. The WIAA held the meeting today where members voted on various subjects regarding high school sports. One of the major topics voted on was whether or not high school athletes can receive benefit from name, image and likeness deals in the future, much like you see with collegiate athletes. The topic was denied in a relatively close vote with 170 votes being cast in favor of NIL deals with 219 votes going against that idea, ultimately shutting down that discussion for now. The original plan was to allow athletes to benefit from NIL endorsements, but they could not use school conference or WIAA logos, and they could not do NIL deals for alcohol, tobacco, or gambling.
Speaking of NIL, Reggie Bush, the former USC running back, was given his Heisman Trophy back after giving it up 14 years ago for admitting to receiving gifts while being a part of the NCAA before NIL became legal in college sports. The Heisman Trust decided to give Bush his trophy back because of, quote, enormous changes in the college football landscape. The Milwaukee Brewers were back at it in Pittsburgh as they took on the Pirates in game three of a four-game set. After losing each of the first two games, the Brewers were hoping to avoid falling behind 3-0 in the series for Thursday afternoon series finale. PNC Park in Pittsburgh, the site of this NL Central battle. We start in the third inning. Runners on William Contreras. Lines one into center field, and that one is down for a base hit in the Brewers. They get on the board first. Later in the inning, bases are loaded. Reese Hoskins at the plate, and he is hit by a pitch, and that is going to bring in the second of three runs that the Brewers would score in the frame. Bottom half, Pittsburgh responds. Brian Reynolds crushes one to deep right. That is a no-doubter, and it is a 3-2 to two ball game. It would stay that way until the bottom of the ninth. Pirates have the winning run on, but Joel Pyams gets the strikeout, and that does it. Brewers go on to win it in Pittsburgh, 3-2. to two. We'll be right back after the break. The Honda you want is here. Get a great offer on the stylish HRV or the Civic, which car and driver calls fun to drive. There's never been a better time to drive in the moment with Honda. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. There's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability, while advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99. Plus, advanced Wi-Fi and one Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Start saving today. Visit Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, or scan to call now. Menards has everything you need to transform your lawn. Get maximum power from this pioneer rear tine tiller featuring dual direction tines, self-propelled steel wheels and inch thin reverse. Get full-size power in a compact frame with this earthquake gas tiller. Now $747.59 after rebate. Keep your lawn looking its best with Menards premium four-part fertilizer program. It's comprised of what you need for every season. Get a bag of crabgrass preventer for just $9.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Welcome to Leisure City, where relieving stress and bringing more fun into your life is what we're all about. You'll notice new faces around, but we're still delivering the same great service we have since 1985. Come see our full lineup of hot tubs in a variety of sizes and styles. We're sure to have that perfect fit for you and your family. Check out our full line of indoor-outdoor patio furniture. That's Leisure City, your backyard headquarters of the North. Nine million acres of forest, 1,700 miles of continuous shoreline, 4,300 lakes, 12,000 miles of streams, more than 300 waterfalls, 15 counties, two time zones, and one area code. Welcome to the Upper Peninsula. Welcome to 906 Outdoors. For your connection to the UP, watch 906 Outdoors Saturday mornings at 730. The Windmill Ice Cream Shop is a popular summer hangout, but they weren't always selling ice cream. Carrie, Blorn, Carrie Bladorn takes us through the history of the location in tonight's Connecting the Dots. Connecting the Dots, reliving Northwoods history with Carrie Bladorn. The Northwoods has been home to many popular roadside landmarks, from the old T-Bird Country Bridge to Paul Bunyan's Cook Shanty. Included among them is a unique building north of Tomahawk that has withstood the tests of time and many will instantly recognize, the Windmill Ice Cream Shop. Before its construction, the property was strategically located near where two early railroads, the Sioux Line and the Milwaukee Road, intersected at Hefford Junction. As tourism flourished in the North Woods, Highway 51 improved access to the region, making it a popular vacation destination. 
North of Tomahawk, Felix and Adeline Kalinske purchased a property on Lake Nokomis in 1929. Despite its humble beginnings with just a few old fishing shacks, Felix, known as Phil, envisioned a vacation paradise, resulting in Phil's Lake Nokomis Resort, featuring a lodge and 13 cabins. In the 1930s and 40s, businesses began constructing unique and interesting buildings to lure travelers off the highway. In 1939, Phil built a Dutch windmill-inspired filling station on what was then Highway 51, now County Road L. It was known as the Hefford Junction Service Station, offering Sinclair oil products. The original windmill featured six wind-driven blades. It quickly became a roadside attraction and popular landmark for the resort. Later, the windmill operated as a bait and boat rental shop and for a time sold hot dogs and hamburgers. In 1954, the windmill was leased by the Magnuses, who transformed it into the Dutch Mill, selling candy and fudge. They painted homemade candy on the windmill's blades and ran it as a seasonal gift shop. Felix Kalinske died in 1966, and although his wife Adeline continued to operate the resort, the windmill fell out of use and sat vacant for over 20 years. In 1973, the Kalinske's daughter Sharon and her husband George Martin, along with their partners James and Angeline Kreshak, purchased the resort. George began fixing the old windmill up around 1976, rebuilding it with four blades instead of six, and installing a motorized shaft, which allowed it to rotate on demand. Jim and Angie Kreshak, who some may recognize the name Jim Kreshak, longtime jeweler from Wausau, became the sole owners of the resort in 1977. Around this time, their son Bill was working on a business degree and developing a business plan for his master thesis. He weighed two options, chicken or ice cream. I bet you already know what his decision was. In spring of 1978, Bill Kreshak opened the Windmill Ice Cream Parlor. That summer, he ran the shop and slept in the windmill's tower and went on to hire Alice Seacosh to manage it for him in the following summers, which she continued to do into the early 1990s. Charlie and Pat Berg from Athens, Wisconsin, would often visit their parents on Lake Nokomis. They later bought a cabin there as well. During countless trips up north, Pat expressed an interest in owning the windmill someday. When Charlie retired from Foremost Farms Cheese Factory and Pat from teaching, their son Russell was working as a realtor based in Tomahawk. Russ saw the old windmill come up for sale and helped his parents make a deal. Pat's dream coming true in 1993. That same year, they opened the Windmill Ice Cream Shop. In 1994, the windmill suffered a fire. Thankfully, the building was saved. It underwent some restoration and remodeling. The wooden windmill blades were replaced with metal ones, but it has otherwise retained its original appearance. In 2007, it was featured on a PBS program titled Filler Up, highlighting unique service station architecture of yesteryear. Over the last 30 years, the Bergs built the Windmill Ice Cream Shop into one of the most popular seasonal destinations in the North Woods. Situated on the water and the Bearskin Trail, it enjoys visitors from cars, boats, and bicycles as its popularity as a local attraction continues. This year, the Windmill Ice Cream Shop will open on May 1st, and there's no doubt that after a long Wisconsin winter, it will draw lines of customers to a spot in the North Woods where ice cream and history meet. I'm Carrie Bladorn, and this has been Connecting the Dots, reliving Northwoods history on Newswatch 12. Connecting the Dots, reliving Northwoods history with Carrie Bladorn. Thank you for watching Connecting the Dots, Reliving Northwoods History. If you have some history you'd like to see covered on the program, send me a message on my Facebook page, Carrie Bladorn, Northwoods Historian, or shoot me an email at northwoodshistorian at gmail.com. At Wausau Hearns Furniture, we want you to save. During the month of April, we will pay the sales tax. Wait, wait, wait. I can do better than that. This April, Harns Furniture will pay the sales tax and then some only at Wasa Harns Furniture.
Upgrade your garage, patio, or basement this spring with our beautiful cutting-edge concrete coatings. Our coatings are four times stronger than epoxy and guaranteed to increase your home's value. For a limited time, save up to $500 off your project. Plus, call during this program to see if you qualify for payments starting at just $30 a month. For the second year in a row, Chevy Equinox has been ranked by J.D. Power number one in new vehicle quality for compact SUVs. In other words, it's really good right from the start. Chevy Equinox. Do that again. Connected by OnStar. Get 1.9% financing on all 2024 Equinox models. Or get 1,500 cash allowance. Plus, current Chevy owners get an additional 1,000 cash allowance. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. When a crane collapsed during construction of a Major League Sports Stadium, three workers lost their lives. Their widows called us. When maintenance workers were permanently injured by an industrial accident at a public utilities power plant, the seven injured workers called us. When a factory exploded, injuring dozens of workers, 18 victims, including all three families of men who lost their lives, called us. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. There are trucks, and then there's the GMC Sierra. Available with the connected driving experience. And the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. It's the truck. Or get 2.9% APR for 72 months on select Sierra 1500 models. Visit your North Central Wisconsin GMC dealer. Martinis in May is returning. Make a toast Saturday, May 11th at the Whitetail Inn. Live music with Tony Ocean. Tickets available online or at the Chamber office. News Watch 12 Today with Michael Lodehold, 5 to 7 a.m. At Wausau Hearns Furniture, we want you to save. During the month of April, we will pay the sales tax. Wait, wait, wait. I can do better than that. This April, Harns Furniture will pay the sales tax and then some only at Wausau Harns Furniture. Beautiful home east of Eagle River with 5.5 acres to be sold at auction April 27th. Contact Brass and St. Louis Auctions for more details. All right, Drew and Jessica, mostly uh, 30s out there right now. We'll have low temperatures in the 20s, so a cold night ahead tonight once again, but a nice recovery tomorrow. Check out this seven-day. Plenty of sunshine tomorrow, just like today. High temperatures back in the 60s. Uh, more windy, though, throughout the afternoon. And then rain arrives about dinner time ish Friday evening. That will continue off and on as showers and storms Saturday, Sunday into Monday. A soaking rainfall likely over the weekend with potentially some strong storms on on Saturday. But until then, let's go for ice cream over at the windmill. Yes, <laughs> it looks delicious. Right I can't thousand. wait for it to open up next week. 70 possibly Excited. on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a great night. <laughs> Dear unbreakable spirit, you roam on paths called impossible. Own a legend. Toyota trucks. Get 3.99% APR for 60 months plus $2,500 cash back on Tundra Hybrid Capstone. Toyota. Let's go places. Dinosaur Adventure roars into Wausau. One weekend only. Marathon Park. With life-size dinosaurs and massive family fun. Experience the thrill of the prehistoric age. Featuring the ferocious T-Rex, Triceratops, Velociraptor, and more. Go on a realistic fossil dig. Take a ride on your favorite dinosaur. Bounce around in the prehistoric playground. And a baby dinosaur meet and greet. Take an amazing dinosaur adventure. This weekend only. Marathon Park. Tickets at DinosaurAdventure.com. Northland Basement Systems is the all-things basement company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces, too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basement in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. 
ELM Repair in Edgar is a family-owned and operated full-service diesel repair shop. From pickups to semi-trucks to heavy equipment and RV service. If it runs on diesel, we can repair it. Want more power and better mileage? Our experienced professionals will get your truck running and at peak performance. With a state-of-the-art dyno and fully stocked parts department, we can even come out to you with our 24-hour mobile repair service. ELM is always looking for passionate and talented people to join our team. The Diesel Doctor, have it done right the first time at ELM Repair. You're looking at the number one cause of lung cancer. That's why the Surgeon General issued this warning. Now you're looking at the number one cause of lung cancer for non-smokers. That's why the Surgeon General